Hi, everybody. Um, so, so excited to see such a packed room of all of our partners, both current and over the last 15 years. Um, it is just so incredibly exciting to be here at Gracie Mansion once again this year to celebrate all of your amazing work and our partnerships. Um, and I very much welcome you here to celebrate our 15 year anniversary, which is huge, yes! Amazing, thank you. Um, so I've been doing so much thinking around legacy the last few weeks. Um, this month, actually I believe on Saturday, marks my ninth year at NYC Service officially. Um, <laughs> Thank you, and third year as Chief Service Officer. Um, and if you had asked me, you know, at 21 years of age graduating from college, you know, where I was very unfocused on my future and unsure of where I wanted to go, switched my major in the middle of my senior year, my mother cried. Um, it was a real fun time. But the one thing that I knew coming out of that is that I wanted to do something that makes the world a better place to be. So that brought me to joining AmeriCorps, which directed me into a career in youth service, and then which eventually led to partnering with NYC Service in the early years. Um, and then it was such a great team that I decided to join. So thank you to Paula Gavin, who is here somewhere in the room for bringing me on board. <laughs> Woo, over here, a previous chief service officer who I started under. So yes. Um, and so, let me see where I am. Okay, so, and as I grew in my career and understanding of the world, service provided, uh, not only provided me a path to connect with others who want the best for their community, but it also helped me understand that the greatest resource we have are people. Yes, absolutely, yes. So our connections with each other and the power we have when we come together create something more than any one of us individually. Um, it has been my greatest pleasure and privilege to be a part of the legacy of NYC Service, a civic innova innovation that set the stage for the service sector across the nation. So I'm sure you probably already know this, but as the first city of service, and now there are over 250 around the country and world, um, Yes, thank you. So as the first city of service uh, across the country, or I'm sorry, it's the first city of service in the country in 2009, and we're also host to one of the largest AmeriCorps programs in the state, New York City has remained at the forefront of using people power to contribute to a thriving and engaged city. Yes, so I am so proud of our team, both past and present, and everything that they've done to get us where we are today. In our 15 years, our office has tracked over a million volunteers each year, and that's just who we've tracked. We know there's more out there. Um, we've also supported almost 3,000 AmeriCorps members through our programs directly to serve nonprofits and city agencies, and we've engaged 8,600 youth to impact policies and practices across the city. So we stand here today knowing that we are all stewards of this moment in history, one that demands both empathy and action across our world, and that service is the solution for now. So we are also excited for the next era of NYC service and ready to double down on our commitment to using service as a tool to take responsibility for our city. On the way out, you'll receive a copy of our updated strategic plan where we're making three key commitments and announcing several new initiatives to create even more opportunities for New Yorkers to serve. So our first commitment is to give greater access to volunteer opportunities and ensure all New York City residents have the opportunity to serve. So NYC Service will collaborate with the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene in their Healthy New York City campaign, where we're going to strategically increase volunteer opportunities that contribute to longer, healthier lives for New Yorkers. We also are working with the Office of Labor Relations Work Well Program and the Department of Citywide Administration. Woo, yes, we all love Work Well. And hopefully our team all have their, uh, specifically we're bringing their phones so they could get their steps in tonight for everybody who's participating. <laughs> Um, and, uh, and along with OLR's Work Well program, we're also partnering with the Department of Citywide Administrative Services. Truly, yes, woo! Um, because this is the largest workforce in the city. So how do we get employees engaged and connected to service opportunities? And finally, we're going to collaborate with New York City Public Schools and Democracy NYC, one of our sister agencies, and youth action campaigns and photo registration drives. So that's the first commitment. Commitment two is to provide effective and robust tools to build knowledge on how to engage in meaningful service that creates strategic impact. So we're continuing to innovate how we use service and reciprocal partnership with the private and nonprofit sectors. NYC Service is thrilled to be working with GLOAT to pilot a new Team NYC program to match priority city initiatives with skills-based corporate volunteer support. And a shout out, we have MasterCard in the room who is our pilot site this year too. Yes. Um, 
And for the nonprofit sector, we're expanding our partnership with the Mayor's Office for Nonprofit Services to provide free resources to help nonprofits build capacity to engage everyday New Yorkers in their causes. Yes. <laughs> We've got you. Yes. And finally, our third commitment is to bridge sectors to create a culture of service in every corner of our city. So we are thrilled to be relaunching our National Service Leadership Council, which will mobilize the more than 60 AmeriCorps programs and national service programs across all five boroughs to strengthen how we support our members across New York City. Um, and finally, one of our biggest announcements this year is that we're excited to launch a new service advisory council to continue to expand how we implement and evaluate for, uh, implement and evaluate approaches to volunteerism. So the 12 member council, many of whom are here in the room with, to, with, the room with us today, um, their names are up here, they're also in our press release today. Please look them up, they're fabulous people. Um, yes. Yes. Um, so this group represents a cross sector of voices um, to engage and us in developing a set of recommendations to make New York City the easiest place to serve. So we'll be so excited um, to next year share all of those recommendations with you. So next on our program, I am so, so proud to introduce our next speaker and one of uh, NYC Service's greater, greatest supporters, the Chief of Staff to the Mayor, Camille Joseph Farlek. this is a full room. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so first of all, thank you, Laura, and good evening, everyone. It is such a pleasure to be here with you at this exciting event. Um, first, I would like to extend my gratitude, my sincerest gratitude to Laura, who I have had the pleasure of working with at City Hall. Um, I had the opportunity to go and visit Laura at her office with her team, and I was blown away by how diverse her team is, how committed her team is, how excited they are about the work. And so they are all, led by Laura, fierce advocates for nonprofits, AmeriCorps members, and volunteers across the great city. So I'd like to give her and her team a round of applause. I would also like to recognize and thank everyone who is here tonight, including many AmeriCorps members and volunteers who are vital to ensuring that our communities are supported and New Yorkers' needs are met. One thing that I've appreciated in this administration is that there is absolutely no way, no matter how large New York City's government is, that we can do this on our own. This must be a partnership with nonprofits and volunteers across the city. Over the last 15 years, New York City Service has provided the power of service and how it can unite individuals and build a city where all New Yorkers can succeed. And this administration is committed to engaging the power of our most precious resource, our people. New York City calls all of us to serve. And whether through long-tier volunteer commitments or small acts of kindness, volunteers and AmeriCorps members in New York City are examples of the best that our city has to offer. Your time and talents are invaluable and your work absolutely does not go unnoticed. Together you have made New York City stronger, cleaner, and healthier. Your tireless work serves as a reminder to us all that one simple act or one hour of volunteerism can change a life forever. I had an opportunity to speak to a couple of our youngest honorees this evening and it is incredibly moving that at their age, they already recognize that you get so much more in volunteering than you are even providing to the community. And I hope you all share that sentiment with me. It is absolutely a noble calling and you've repeatedly answered that call. Tonight, we have announced the city's strategic plan outlining our whole city approach to increasing access to meaningful opportunities and a commitment to tackling important issues affecting New Yorkers. This administration is committed to bringing our city's people to solutions through service. Service bridges divides, service heals, and service helps tackle our biggest challenges with justice, equity, and compassion. I recently had a conversation where we talked about the opportunity that people had to serve during the pandemic and how healing that was for individuals. And we continue to believe that service can be um, healing in the power of New York as well right now. 15 years later, 15 years later, 
<laughs> New York City service continues to innovate and champion volunteerism, and our city is safer and more livable because of it. Unfortunately, the mayor could not join us tonight, but he wanted to share that he is so incredibly proud to recognize the more than 5,000 volunteers and five exceptional impact awardees for contributing to a safer and more livable city for all of us. I heard Laura mention this earlier in her remarks. The greatest resource that we have is our people, and I truly believe that, believe that as we live in the greatest city on the planet. Together, we will continue to build the city up one noble act of service at a time. Thank you. All right, and Camille's not going far because we're at the, my favorite part of the evening, where we get to um, celebrate our mayoral service recognition awardees. Um, yes, many of you are here for them, I know. Um, so this year, we're so thrilled, um, not only to honor our five honorees, um, but to be able to provide each winner a $500 award to recognize their efforts in service. I know, right? Exactly, and we wanna thank the Fund for the City of New York and their president, Lisette Nieves, um, for their generous sponsorship of those awards and such a wonderful partner of ours. So first, we're going to welcome out our Youth Impact Award winners to the stage. All right, I think Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, so if you want to come on this side. Thank you. So every year, the Youth Impact, Aw Impact Award honors an individual or group of youth that has stood out in service to their community. The Clinton School's Rescuing Leftover Cuisine Group is comprised of student volunteers who led over 90 food rescues last year. Yes. And that, yep, that's not it. They rescued over 6,100 pounds of food and served over 5,000 meals as a part of that. Yes. Food was delivered to local shelters and the students, Connor Flores, Ben Walker, Idris Attard, and Mark Verma Bono Bononi? Bonani. Bonani, thank you. <laughs> um, worked with places such as NYU's cafeteria, Bread's Bakery location, Nike's downtown office, and law firms um, to make this a reality. So thank you to our incredible Youth Impact Awardees. <laughs> All right, our next award winner is the AmeriCorps Alum Impact War Award. And as a former AmeriCorps alum, this is something that I'm always excited about. Um, and that recognized an AmeriCorps alum who has continued to engage in meaningful ways after their year of service. So for this award, we congratulate Ali Bamba Salah, the founder of Bamba Sports, who mobilized residents in the Bronx to organize soccer tournaments focused on empowering local black youth from neighborhoods with high indexes of poverty. Um, unfortunately, he could not join us tonight. He's out of uh, the country. But we're so glad to recognize and highlight the meaningful work that he's done, and we will make sure he gets this award. So thank you. Um, next. Next up, we have our brand new Spirit of the City Award, which is a new award this year, and it honors an individual who goes above and beyond for our New York City community. So let's welcome to the stage Annabelle Amir, the co-founder. The co-founder of the Youth Mental Health Program at the Central Asian American Association. So in 2023, she positively impacted the lives of Central Asians in New York City, including fundraising for 25 families in shelter, conducting group and individual therapy sessions, and further volunteering to assist families integration in Brighton and Homecrest. So thank you, Annabelle. <laughs> All right, and next up, we have our Community Impact Award to recognize an organization that uniquely mobilizes volunteers to address a community need. So welcome to the stage, Literacy Partners. All right. Um, 
So literacy partners assist parents with literacy proficiency to help narrow the achievement gap among New Yorkers. They engage volunteers in service with their English for Parents teaching program, where volunteers host discussions or one-on-one -on -one supports, um, which strengthens the bond between parent and child by improving the parent's ability to navigate daily life. So thank you so much to Amber Donier of the organization's volunteer manager. Uh, <laughs> Yes, so thank you, Amber, for joining us tonight um, and for all the work that you do at Literacy Partners. All right, and last but not least, our Partnership Impact Award. Um, embraces the importance of cross-sector partnerships between businesses and nonprofits to improve New York City communities. This year, we recognize Macquarie Group and Team Kids on partnering together, <laughs> partnering together to host the Team Kids Challenge. The initiative unites students, law enforcement, and community members through organizing food and clothing drives, acts of kindness, and other actions that further bind a community together. So thank you so much to Team Kids, Julie Hudash, and got fans too. And Macquarie Group's Joseph Selby um, for joining us to accept the award. So thank you for Um, so let's give our awardees a final last round of applause. All right. Um, and unfortunately, we now come to the end of the program. Uh, but we are so excited to have you all here. Um, just thank you so much for celebrating our 15 year anniversary tonight and helping us close out National Volunteer Month. Um, an added surprise this, this year, thanks to our uh, amazing Chief of Staff, Steph Halpin. If you look out, uh, yes, <laughs> applause for Steph. If you look out at municipal buildings, both here uh, in New York City and around the country tomorrow, you will see them lit in orange for National Volunteer Month to celebrate. Um, so we also want to thank um, the cities of Atlanta, Boston, and Memphis for joining us. So go online, there will be lots of social media around it, um, and you can see all of our buildings here in New York City as well. Um, so just a final few thank yous before we close, because obviously this is the work of so many people. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank Mayor Adams, who has been a supporter of NYC Service from day one. Um, we appreciate how deeply he believes in the power of people and the communities that he lives to serve every day. I want to thank, again, Camille joseph Varlak and Crystal Price, who is the interim engagement um, office, officer, sorry, <laughs> for, woo, yes, both of them are amazing. Um, for their leadership and support, as well as our engagement team sister agencies, CAU, CEC, Democracy NYC, and PEU. This entire group just supports us and inspires us every day. Yes. Um, so a huge thank you coming up. This is the result of 27 people in our office and countless others before us. Um, who care so deeply about our city and the people in it. I'm gonna embarrass our staff. Can you all raise your hands, please? And just give them a huge round of applause. All right, I'm just gonna say some people are not waving, but that's okay. <laughs> And also on our team, I just truly want to thank my executive team at NYC Service, Aaron Miner, who is an original member of the NYC Service team, to Sean Morgan, and, and Tiffany Tucker Pryor. Yes. Um, yes. So Aaron, Tashawn, and Tiffany work every day to build out deep and meaningful program that impacts hundreds of thousands of people. Um, and a final staff shout out, which I did a little bit earlier, but Steph Halpin, our chief of staff. Yes. Who, Steph, as, as many of you all know, is such a key support to us all and truly our office's best closer. She gets everything to the finish line with compassion. Um, I would like to also thank the Mosby and Gracie Mansion team. We couldn't do this without them, and they're just so amazing. 
We also want to thank a big surprise. Not only will you get a strategic plan on the way out, you'll get a sweet treat from Tony's Chuckle Only. Yes. Um, so we thank them for their partnership. Um, and it's a very special wrapper, so I'll just, I won't. So look out for that. Um, and finally, my last and biggest thank you is truly for our partner's work, each and every one of you in this room. Um, and I'm trying to make eye contact with everybody, but it's a little hard. Um, but you are right there in lockstep with us, and we appreciate you more than we can express. Um, this, yes, thank you. So, and we just want to say this celebration is as much yours as it is ours. So thank you so much for being here, and continue, please continue to enjoy the event through 7:30. Um, and and you know, as we look forward um, to the next few years, we really are look forward to walking into the next 15 years with you all. So thank you all so much and good night.